All right, good afternoon, Zach. It's going to be continue to be a windy afternoon. We have a wind advisory in place until 8 o'clock this evening. Basically, that means our winds will be sustained around 15 to 30 miles per hour with those gusts still possible around 45 to 50 miles per hour. Tree and power line damage may take place and there may be some difficulty when driving high profile vehicles in these gusty winds. Peak wind gusts so far today in Dayton reach 47 miles per hour. We've seen 40 to 45 5 mile per hour wind gusts through Wright Patterson Air Force Base around 38 miles per hour. So a look on our Google Auto Auction camera. It sure is shaking this afternoon. We are looking at a current temperature on the cooler side. It's only 41 degrees right now in Dayton. Our wind is out of the west sustained at 30 miles per hour. The latest gust 43 miles per hour and that wind chill is 30 degrees right now. You can see those winds strong out of the south, the northwest and the west. We are still tracking a 38 mile per hour wind gust in Springfield as well and a 39 mile per hour wind gust in Wilmington. We are dealing with all of these gusty winds due to that cold front and low pressure system that did help produce those strong to severe thunderstorms and the tornadoes across our southern states. In Ohio now we're clearing out from the rain and staying cloudy and the winds are remaining gusty and temperatures are much cooler. Cooler. We are 21 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday right now in Dayton, and we are going to stay on the cooler side into the afternoon. Notice our temperatures this evening will only be in the 40s, and we will still be dealing with mostly cloudy skies and those gusty winds. Notice though, around 5 o'clock, we start to see more wind gusts in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, and the downward trend will continue overnight. We'll start to see a uh, less gust and even calmer conditions heading into Tuesday morning. Uh, a few Future track, not too much to show you, but there may be a few breaks in the clouds later on this afternoon and evening, and that could lead to some frost, especially across our northern counties. Heading into Tuesday, we'll see the clouds return, but clearing once again overnight into Wednesday morning could lead to some frost across the region, and then a chance for snow starts to sneak in later in the day on Wednesday. So first of all, we have all the wind we're dealing with today. Your high only 47 degrees this afternoon. We'll keep those highs in the 40s. And that slow, slight chance for some snow there Wednesday evening. Temperatures will be in the 30s near freezing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning.